All right, in this video, we're going to be taking a peek at two really nice oval shapes that we acquired. Um, both of these ovals fall within certain specifications, rare specifications that we're looking for when we're hunting for ovals. Um, and our particular client who's looking at these wanted colorless. So um, the diamond on the left is an E, the diamond on the right is an F. They're both in the, um, in the 120 range. Okay, and both of them are VS Clarities. All right. Now, even with all that, you know, you don't get the certain uh, proportional numbers. You don't get on the GIA reports and everything. Now, both of these are really good-looking ovals. Um, slightly different personalities between the two. But just to show you a little bit of the proportional differences, we can see that the oval on the left-hand side, the E-color, does have a flatter crown with a larger table. Um, a little bit larger table, and the one on the right has a taller crown with a little bit smaller table. All right, but both of them fall within the depth and table parameters that we generally look for when we're hunting down ovals for our clients. Uh, but what's nice is in both of these, you got a very minimal bow tie effect. There's no heavy darkness in the middle. Um, both have good uh, brightness contrast, um, uh, nice brightness contrast for an oval. Okay, um, I do kind of lean a little bit more towards one than the other, but I'm not going to tell you that now. <laughs> okay, but I wanted to give you this view first because we're going to be going into all four views today. Dim spotlighting next, strong spotlighting, and then natural daylight by the window. Okay, so here are the two, side by side. Now we're going to go to uh, dim spotlighting and let's look at the sparkle in these two little guys. Okay. And both of these GIA graded stones too, so the grades are nice and conservative. Okay. Now, when it comes to uh, the scintillation, the sparkle scintillation. Position my camera a little better here. Okay, here are the two side by side in your spotlighting. Now, I am getting some stronger flares from the E color on the left. All right. The, um, the F color on the right, I am getting good sparkle too, but it's more of a, um, a more even um, dispersion of smaller reflections throughout the diamond. While on the uh, on the EVS there, I'm getting uh, I'm getting good sparkle throughout the stone, but I'm also getting some strong flares there um, across the belly facet. That, that's or across the belly of the diamond. That's a nice thing to see in ovals. Although I'm going to be honest with you, I do place the least amount of emphasis upon this view than I do daylight and diffuse light views because you can see it more in those other views. All right, let's go to stronger spotlighting and see if this exaggerates what we're seeing or not. Okay, and now we're in the stronger spotlighting. Same order. Okay. I, I am seeing those stronger reflections across the belly of this one. All right. I would imagine that would show a nice mix there of red or red blue in the A set. Okay. Usually where we get those strong. Now in the stronger spotlighting, we are getting some stronger reflections in the diamond on the right now as well. But that's kind of to be expected. But uh, this is still a tough comparison. All right, because these are two good-looking ovals. Two good-looking ovals. All right, we covered three out of our four lighting environments. You know, at one point, you think I'm leaning towards this one <laughs> with a smaller table and taller crown, and it is, which is a beautiful oval. And then there are points I kind of uh, find myself leaning towards this one too. All right, so both of these are pretty darn good-looking stones. It's going to be a tough, tough, uh, tough call. I think it's pretty safe to say we're we're good with either one. What I'm going to do now, we're going to head by the uh, window in natural daylight and see if we can uh, perhaps maybe eliminate one of these or, or help us choose which one we like best. All right.
right? Ultimately, you got to decide that, regardless of my personal preference. So, okay, off to the window. Okay, and here we are in natural daylight by the window. Oh boy, this is tough. Okay, good brightness across the bellies of both diamonds. Okay, nice uh, minimal bow tie effect. So th these these ovals, both of these ovals, got it going on. Slight differences in personality, but I'm going to tell you, you're you're pretty safe with either one of these choices. All right. What we're going to go ahead and do is publish the details up of each of these diamonds and uh, let you review the critical data. But uh, this is these are the visuals. Okay. So when you look down on your hand, which one of these is the, which is the one you want to see most? All right. They're both honking. They're both jamming. While we're in the, by the window in natural daylight here, not that they're both colorless diamonds, so they're both white. Okay. <laughs> the color comparison is kind of uh, irrelevant in this in this video because they're both really white, good conservatively graded oval shapes. All right. So let me know. We're going to continue the conversation in email, and you'll let me know which one of these you want to move forward with. But these are two good-looking ovals. I'm, I'm pretty happy with both. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this has helped, my, my friend.